Hey, you want to hear how fucking pathetic my life is? How? Oh. So, I'm at a uh, a gas station earlier, yeah. and attached to this gas station is this like section where you can vacuum out your car. Yeah. And there's this fucking chick vacuuming out her fucking car, wearing this like pencil dress thing. Yeah. That was like borderline see through. I could see like her thong through it. And yeah. it's so fucking short. And she's like bending over, vacuuming out her trunk and everything. I fucking pumped my gas and then acted like I was pumping my gas for like 10 fucking minutes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just staring at this girl <laughs> over the over the top of the gas, or the, the pump. Like I'm just yeah. standing there with my eyes and my nose over the edge, acting like I'm pumping <laughs> gas. <laughs> God damn it. And dude. there was like a huge line of people trying to pump their gas and I'm just like, fucking go away. <laughs> yeah. I'm busy. Pump the gas, bitch. <laughs> the thing had already printed out my receipt and everything. I'm just sitting there holding on to the nozzle. And I'm just looking at her going... Oh. I, I, was that guy. <laughs> I was that guy. I was that guy, by the way. <laughs> like, I was like halfway through your story. I was like, fuck! Because I was like... <laughs> <laughs> I Disgusting. was four or five years younger than every other person on my... On my block, like my brother grew up with the neighborhood, and so he was oh, yeah. friends with everybody in the neighborhood. And then I was just like his younger brother, oh, that man. was so much younger than everybody else. And there was these two kids at the end of the road, Matt and Pat. And I would go over there and like, I would yeah. I would rent games and like uh, N64 controllers from them, <laughs> or like, and I would go over to my uh, another kid's house and like, because he had. He had like a Xbox before anybody else, like back when that was brand new. And he had like all the consoles. And then he was the one that had uh, Diablo 2 when that first came out. Oh, and I was like, what the nice. fuck? And I would go over there and like play. And he was very obviously like, get out of here. Like, dude. Yeah. Yeah. He started getting to like his middling like teen yeah. years. And he's like, I want to like whack off before my parents get home. <laughs> like, yeah. Which actually, oh. funnily enough, two things here. One, he that kid had, he had a bread box on his countertop. And one of those times where I kind of like barged my way into his house and was playing his games and shit, I was like, hey, let's go see like what kind of snacks this guy has. So I Jesus opened up his bread box and I found oh, a baby God. Ruth candy bar oh, and I fucking baby ate, Ruth. Ate, ate that shit in like two seconds. <laughs> and like a week later, his family, like they confronted me. They're like, did you eat a baby Ruth candy bar? And I said, yeah, it was right there in the bread box. Yeah. And they're like, we got that candy bar like 12, 15 years ago. And it has been on every yeah. family vacation with us. It, was been, it has been to the Grand Canyon. It's been to Niagara Falls. It's been to the Black Forest in Germany. And you ate it. I was like, it tasted like it was bought yesterday. Like, I, was, yeah. I was like, wow, I'm really that's sorry. Christ. Yeah. But they should have kept it in the <laughs> inside of a closed container in their own house. Yeah, they didn't want these fight. little monsters to come in and ruin, <laughs> yeah. and ruin their family tradition. Yeah, that was our they should have let me barge my way in and break into their house and eat their stuff in closed containers. Like what? Jesus Christ! Fucking irresponsible people. Well, why do they like have fucking that? Fucking Cartman moved right there, dude. <laughs> no. No, fuck. Who the fuck carries a bar like that around the Probably world? Fucking someone died with it or something. It's got like <laughs> these, crazy. Are, these are people that have a off. grand piano in their living room. Like they're just a weird family. <laughs> just, could have the soul of one of their yeah, family so members. Yeah, like did you did you suddenly there. get like weird memories of Niagara Falls and shit? Like did you? <laughs> when I, ate it, it, no, yeah. I, yeah. I felt a little bit more well traveled. Maybe <laughs> you hear the ocean <laughs> like when you're like out of the oh. corner. Your fucking consciousness. You I like look it around. All the experiences of that babe Ruth where I absorbed them like boo. Uh, you all of a sudden then, knew what that kid's dick looked like. Yeah, he I, just yeah. jerked off with it in the room. Oh yeah. god. But um also uh, in the same vein, I went I went back and checked on my <laughs> and the I name. fucking Killed their dog. Candy bars for the best twenty years and I fucking ate another one. Well then she says the same night when I wanted to go to bed, she's like whispered at me. She's like, I want to go. I want to go take a dump. And I could have swore I saw a giant cockroach in the bathtub. Oh, and, I, and like, and I was like, thanks, babe. No, I can't fucking sleep because I know he's like somewhere like within yeah, the 20 foot vicinity. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. She went to go check to see if he was there. And she pulled back the curtain and he was on the curtain like next to her face. Uh, and he started going okay. like. 
<laughs> and like throwing his wings around and shit. And she was like, ah. And so she had like this life or death struggle with this thing while I was in her gaming. <laughs> Pregnant woman <laughs> flailing in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and so I went to go and I went in there. She wanted me to get rid of the body. I went in there. This fucking brooch looked like <laughs> looked like it had been beaten to hell and back. <laughs> she fucking, like she went to M&M. she went to town on it with a fucking pair of Skechers. <laughs> fucking oh just beat God. this shit out of it. Me. Um, okay, so way back when I first moved to this house, I'm in the the heart of suburbia, right? And everybody is all happy around me and everything. And, uh, and they didn't know who had moved in. <laughs> right. <laughs> they didn't know the yeah. man that had moved in. You just look like a nice, friendly, yeah. like, They're like he never loan officer house. at the local bank. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, uh, and so when uh, Hurricane Michael came through, I think Hurricane Michael, that, that's the one that really fucked up uh, us, right? <laughs> that was the one where our, our uncle had a good laugh because you had always been i don't need cash i you know cash is old stuff you know yeah. and and then it hit and all the debit machines all the debit card swipers were down and you were like i need ice <laughs> yeah no, no the problem was there was no ice <laughs> no we got ice no, i had and, to come get you and in the fight it, no no it worked because you just swiped and then they ran as credit and then they'd charge you when they got their power back Oh, did that? Happen? Yeah, the, the oh. world has moved past. I remember his, it differently. I thought we, I thought I had cash, and I, I hey, you, you might out. have. I don't know. Yeah, I would just like in my in my mind to be right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the the uh, the hurricane happened, right? Right. And um, this is modern suburbia, right? So nobody fucking talks to each other. I've I'd never really talked to any yeah, of my neighbors. No. And then all of a sudden, power goes out. Uh, no cable, no power. It's hot. Everybody has a freezer full of food that's for that you can't melting. Open. Yeah, yeah, you just melting. Let and that so happen. Everybody starts barbecuing, <laughs> and all the and people and everybody's the, on the front porch. It, it, there's no TV. Like everybody, like comes out like goblins, like hey, into the sun. How you doing, dude? I met every fucking neighbor. Yeah, every neighbor on this goddamn block. I met. I shook hands with. We were great friends. Yeah. They were like, this guy, this cool guy's been living here this whole yeah. time. I didn't yeah. even know. And I, I became friends. I uh, lent my gas grill to the people next door. Yeah. And then, and I and I even joked with them too. I was like, this is funny because we're, we're all great friends, but the second that power comes on, <laughs> we ain't never going to fucking talk to each other. <laughs> again. Say, power goes on, everybody goes back to yeah. their holes. And you haven't th- talked to anybody since, have you? No, I've been, I've been talking to some of them. But then uh, um, uh, I, I do have a couple stories about the the falling out of our relationship with each neighbor that I came so close with during the hurricane. I know you've been like peacocking to your, your one neighbor over here, right? That, the guy that I gave the, the grill to so he could cook his food. He, you um, bring it to a whole new level. You've been like texting that guy, haven't well, you? I got, I got his cell phone number and he, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's a cool guy and he's young. He's I think younger than me. And I was like, dude, he's the only other young guy in the neighborhood. Yeah. And he seems like a cool hip guy. Yeah. I, and I was like, and he seems like he has a good sense of humor. Right. And, you know, right off the bat, I was making fucked up jokes and stuff. He was laughing. I thought he, he was, I thought we were on the same wavelength. And so like out of the blue, I texted him just a picture of me in like this fight stance with yeah. my pants pulled up to my nipples. And I'm like, bro, outside 10 minutes, right? Fucking now I'm going to beat your ass. In the front yard. He never responded, did he? Didn't respond. Two days later, I was like, all right, this guy's a pussy. So then I sent him another picture of me in some weird ass position <laughs> with like my socks pulled up over my pants and everything. I was like, bro, right now, man dance, front yard, 10 minutes. <laughs> Never responded. I kept doing it for like a week and a half. <laughs> and now. And you fr- know, he kept like looking out this blind. He's <laughs> like, where's that crazy motherfucker? <laughs> and now he pulls into his, his driveway and uses the side door so he can. <laughs> Like, if he sees me in the front yard, he actively avoids me. He'll go into the side. You're so good at fucking up a good thing. (laughs) He'll go into the side door. He won't use his front door anymore. I bet you Scabs is like. (laughs) Oh, yeah. She's kind of pissed about it. She's ready to move. She's kind of pissed about it. So then, uh, and then, um, (laughs) let's see. Who else we got here? I had a a bunch of them. Oh, um, uh, there's a Jewish lady next door that's like, she's super old school. But uh, yeah, I remember I met her. I was like, "How you doing?" Yeah. When when the hurricane hit, 
I was like, hey, how are you doing? She's like, you got my ice? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. She's cool. very intense, right? Yeah. And she was telling me that. Um, Yard like, looks immaculate. Yeah. She, very attention yeah. to detail oriented. Yeah. And she, uh, um, but she's very clean. Her, not just in the way she keeps things, but like her mentality, like very clean humor <laughs> kind of person. Oh, yeah. And she, she was saying something about um, uh, Jewish people or, can't be organ donors. So she's not organ donor. And I just immediately interrupted her. I said, that's not true. They can donate the foreskins. <laughs> All right, using those. <laughs> Cut it off and give it to someone else for like a skin graft or something. <laughs> and she just fucking like looked away from me and like, <laughs> she had talked to us for a month after that. <laughs> and Abby's like, what the fuck? She's <laughs> she hit me the second I said it. I thought it was funny. <laughs> And then the third one, these are all my closest neighbors. But this is the guy on the right side of me and the lady on the <laughs> left. So, and then there's this other lady that has a family. And I not only know her, I know her husband. I know their kids. They're cool people. They're kind of young. They're like probably your age, to be honest. And, uh, but they're pretty wholesome. <laughs> they're oh, pretty wholesome okay. people. So but, I don't know them. No. Okay. And uh, uh, they were down at the park. And they were down there with their friends who were... This story is going to make me out to be like this incredible <laughs> racist, right? They were down there with the, uh, with a black family. Okay. And the black, uh, the black family was a man, woman, and, uh, and two kids, okay. right? And I went down there with uh, Madeline. I was going to go do the swings and stuff. And so I went down there, I said hi to them, shook their hands and everything. And then I went on to do my swing thing. And then they started going back to the house. And I started, uh, like, I waited, you know, a couple minutes. And then we started going back. And, uh, and on my way through the playground, I noticed there was a little black baby doll on one of the benches that was yeah. left there. Okay. And I was like, oh, black baby doll. <laughs> black All children. Only black family I've seen here. <laughs> the kids. So I grabbed it. I was like, naturally, this is theirs. Yeah. So I like run up behind him. I'm like, hey, hey you forgot your doll. Hey, you forgot your doll. <laughs> and and in, in the second they turn around, I realize <laughs> the the two kids that they have are like 12 year old boys. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> and they looked at me like I was fucking retarded. <laughs> And at that moment, I realized I'm like, <laughs> I look like the biggest racist of all time. Hey, you forgot your darn colored doll down at the, down at the playground. Can't, we can't leave this riffraff down there at the playground. And I was like, oh, fuck. And then they haven't spoken to me since. <laughs> so the three, the three neighborhood relationships, I'm going to have to find new people to talk to. <laughs> But these are my like my closest neighbors in in the neighborhood. I've fucked it up already. 